Japan ready for World War III as they prepare detention centers for North Korea refugees. Japan is preparing for a sudden influx of North Korean refugees by creating emergency detention centers as World War III fears continue, it has been revealed. Junji Ito, a spokesman with the Ministry of Justice's Immigration Bureau, claimed that Tokyo was examining multiple options. Japan's Deputy Prime Minister, Taro Waso, has suggested that simply killing refugees is also a possibility. He said, they are illegal refugees. They might carry weapons. Terrorism might occur. We have to prepare our government to deal with such a situation. They could be armed refugees. Would the response come from the police or defense operations by the self-defense forces? Would they be shot? We must give this some serious thought. Outspoken Taro Wassel has previously stated that Adolf Hitler's motive was right in a statement that he later retracted following a stream of controversy. Japan was hit with a slew of refugees following in 1975 in the aftermath of the Vietnam War where Cambodians, Laotians and Vietnamese people arrived in the country. The Human Rights Watch HRW, has blasted Japan for not showing global ethical leadership on human rights after the country refused to accept refugees from areas such as Syria. The prospect of World War III is looking increasingly likely after the United States deployed 14,000 troops on aircraft carriers and destroyers off the coast of North Korea for a series of war games with Japan and drills likely to infuriate Kim Jong-un. The servicemen will take part in the 10-day exercise, which will see U.S. and Japanese troops performing war games in the waters off Okinawa. The drills, which began on Thursday, are designed to increase the defensive readiness and interoperability of Japanese and American forces through training in air and sea operations, the U.S. Navy said. And they also include aircraft carrier the USS Ronald Reagan, and the guided missile destroyers USS Statham, USS Chaffee and USS Mustin, among others, the first such deployment of three U.S. carriers since 2007. The war games come as tensions between North Korea and the U.S. continue to escalate with President Donald Trump determined to showcase Washington's military might. A U.S. Navy spokesman, the exercise follows more than a week of scenario-based training ashore. That display of military force is meant to pressure North Korea and make it clear to Pyongyang the U.S. can rapidly mobilize a potent military force. The latest exercise comes after three U.S. aircraft carriers held rare joint drills in the Western Pacific, joined separately by Japanese Navy and South Korean warships over the weekend. On Wednesday, Mr. Trump hit back at critics of his Asia tour and vowed a global campaign of maximum pressure on North Korea, warning Pyongyang will not subject the world to nuclear blackmail. Mr. Trump has repeatedly engaged in a fiery war of words with North Korea's despot leader Kim Jong-un, leaving experts to ponder on whether a genuine war is really possible.